Hey guys, so I filmed this pinup kind of retro -y look for you guys. Um, I just want to tell you right off the bat, I didn't film the hair because I really struggled with it. I didn't really know what I was doing, I just kind of winged it. Um, but if you want to see a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments and I will film one for you guys. Um, so let's get started. I started off by applying my moisturizer, which is a Lay Complete Lotion. This is my everyday lotion and it has an SPF 15. For my foundation, I'm applying MAC Studio Fix Powder with a Kabuki brush. Um, this is a great foundation and it has a matte finish. Next I'm just warming up the face with some of this Wet n Wild bronzer. It was like $3.99 from the drugstore, um, but I really like it. So I just use it to warm up the face and contour a little bit. Next I'm taking a little bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder and I'm using it to fill in the blank spots in my brows. Next I'm taking a tinted brow gel in blonde and I'm brushing it along my brows to lighten them a little. Next I'm taking an ash colored brow pencil and I'm using it to define the brow. Um, I'm doing so many steps for the brows because I wanted them to be very defined and clean looking for this look. Next I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in this small flat brush from Bare Essentials and I'm using it to carve out the bottom line of the brow. Once that part is done, I'm going to use what's ever left over to spread all over the lid to use as an eyeshadow base. Now for the eyeshadow. I'm using MAC Gesso which is a matte white shadow and I'm applying it just underneath the eyebrows on the brow bone. Next I'm taking this warm brown shadow and a fluffy brush and I'm going to dust it just in the upper crease area where it's fading into the white shadow and I'm also taking it out towards the temples. Um, this is just sort of the transition shade so I'm not being too careful with it. So for this look, I'm doing an exaggerated crease. So I'm using the liner to basically fake that the eye is longer than it really is. So I'm applying it first so that I know where to connect the crease in my newly defined eye shape. And of course, this part is optional. You can always go for a winged eye and it'll look great with this look. So now that I've created my new eye line, I'm going in with the 217 brush and defining my new crease. Next, I'm going back in with the gesso eyeshadow and a flat brush again, and I'm just packing it all over the lid and making sure that it's nice and bright. Next, I'm just brightening up the under eye area using this Forever Maryland Beauty Powder. Then I'm going back over the eyeliner again because it got covered with the white shadow and I'm even thickening it a little bit towards the outsides. Then I took a pair of lashes and cut them in half and I'm basically applying them halfway on my eye and halfway up the wing and I'm doing this to exaggerate the shape of the eye and here I'm pinching the lashes together so that it stays natural looking. Next I'm using this highlighting pencil to fill in the waterline with a nude color um, and I'm also making sure to bring it into the corner and cover all of the lashes so that there's no darkness peeking through. Next I'm going to contour the nose using a matte brown shadow and a small blending brush. I'm going down the sides of my nose and then defining the bottom of my nose. A lot of contouring looks great in pictures, but you have to be careful because in person, it looks a little crazy. Now for the lips, I'm going to use MAC Cherry Lip Liner, and I'm going to line the lips going slightly over the natural lip line. Then for the lipstick, I'm applying this matte red shade from Melt Cosmetics called Belladonna. And here is the finished look. You can also wear this look with a pink lip. Here I added Colored Rain Lipstick Lipnotized and NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in the color Ever. Okay, so that's the whole look. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and that it wasn't too complicated. I know I do things in a weird way, but I'd just rather show you guys exactly how I do it and then you can pick and choose what works for you because that's what makeup is all about it's about what works for you what you think looks good and what makes you happy um anyways so if you guys want to talk to me add me on my twitter it's crispy makeup and um also i make sure to answer everybody back on facebook 
facebook.com slash crispy makeup. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon.